Okay, guys, welcome to part two of uh, our Terra Nova Let's Play. So let me just make sure that this is... All right, now it's going to be full screen capture. So probably going to play another hour, maybe two. I mean, if we get really far, we may finish it. If not, uh, I'll probably do a part three. Um, but uh, yeah, let's do a Terra Nova uh, Let's Play. Let's continue. Um, so we just escorted the truck back uh, full of scientists and got it picked up. So let's go check out our email from that last mission. Ernest Schuller, SFC headquarters, transmission received, terminal 19A, Ernest Schuller ID, okay, so 0004 confirmed, alright, that's good. Have you taken a look at the medical report on that clone warrior we dragged in? They've got adrenaline glands the size of grapefruits. The docs say they're not designed to live for more than two months, just burn out real fast in a blaze of strength. Ideal warriors for the hog. Uh, no insubordination or, or independent thought, just muscle that doesn't live long enough to, to cause any trouble. We gotta take him out. Fun, fun, fun. Sky. Okay, email. Actually, I'm just gonna go review my personnel. Which one is Schuler? He's not my crew. Oh, no, he is. Oh, this guy, yeah. The guy who everyone punches all the time. Okay, uh, enemy forces, so TP is, okay, exit. So, um, let's go do our next mission. One of us is a traitor, that's the only explanation. That's a pile of earth. Then explain how the hogs knew exactly what we were doing. He doesn't have to. Skin print can. So this is a clone. Beautiful, isn't it? You're crazy. Ripped to shreds by our guns, and it's still breathing. Barely. It's on life support. Look at it, little brother. I wonder if a little show star called Star Trek The Next Generation was out when this game was made. Yeah, kill. Kill us. Or maybe Voyager. What the hell are you doing? It's dead. It could have given us information. What have you done? My mission. I think she might be the mole. We know she's keeping secrets. She killed that before we could learn anything about it. Um, I am paranoid. I'm just going to check. Okay, we are recording. Fantastic. Sorry. Just very paranoid about that. You have no idea. I mean, I, I'm still talking to myself, but you have no idea how many times I've just been sitting here realizing that the past two hours have been a waste. 138. Uh, isn't that the same amount of kills I had last time? I wonder if the kill counter got bugged because it should be higher. I killed, I think I killed a bunch on the last mission. I don't know. Okay, so let's go to our briefing. Figure out what they want us to do. Seems the Hogs know a great idea when they see one. Having realized how useful a lunar station is for spying on us down here on New Hope, they've been quietly building their own. And a good thing we learned of this. Unless we want them looking over our shoulder everywhere we go, we've got to take that thing out before it's finished. Nicola, I want <coughs> you and a squad to squash that spy scope. Take a demolitions expert in and finish that thing off. There will be guards, so be prepared for a scuffle. Dismissed. Alright, I'll try the mine layer out. We'll see what it does. Do I have the turret yet? They, they teach me how to use the turret in the very first uh, training mission, and then they never let me touch it again after that. That's really cool. Ashford, who's my demo guy? Here we go. Ng. Uh, demolition pack. Mine layer. Okay. Well, let's see what we're getting into. Get that spying high off, hog eye off our moon. Pretty straightforward. Just blow everything to fucking hell. Which I'm good at. I feel like that's something I can wrap my head around. Back on the moon, or a moon. Everyone should watch their aim. Low grab is hell on accuracy. Now you tell me. Okay, so... Oh my god! Okay, so I want you to do special. I want you to go demo telescope. 
The shortest fuse possible. Just do it. Everyone else? And follow me. Okay, we're getting in. We're going in. I see you jumping over the wall there. Nice! Scout's taken out. I am so screwed. Let's Vamanos, people. Let's go. Oh, I'm so... Oh, look how busted up I am. Alright, at least I got... There's low gravity. Oh, get up there! Oh, damn it, I fell off the thing. <laughs> My kingdom for a fucking mouse look right now. Ah. Is he planting the charge? Plant the goddamn charge, bro. Are you gonna do- oh, cause I told him to- can, okay, well damn it. Alright, I'm gonna just tell him to- What do you mean negative? You don't disobey my orders. I'm the boss. Look at me. I am the captain now. Okay, are we gonna blow up this fucking thing? So you're gonna blow it up or what? Negative. What do you mean negative? All right, well. All right, well, hold on. Everyone just back up. Oh. Weapon system damage? What's going on? Why? Just tell me why. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to... Hey, how do I quit the mission? I forgot. Oh. Alright, we're gonna try that again. Yeah. Abort mission. Replay mission. Uh, she didn't do anything. So, I don't know if we need suit repair. I'd rather have two demo guys and send them both after the thing. Uh... Walker Gomez is weapons. Ashford weapons. Rossi electronics. Ah! I guess we'll have to keep her. All right, I'm sending. So first of all, all right. I think I know what I'm gonna do first. Scroll that. Everyone should watch the weapons armed. And now I'm gonna send my demo guy. Special demo telescope. Shortest fuse possible. Yeah, that little... That's definitely a system shock sound. 
And I'm not messing around being down here. This is the, this is a kill zone down here. We're getting on top of that damn tower. It's way easier to fight up here. Oh god. Oh god, just <laughs> just let me upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let's try this again. We may have to keep our distance. I don't know. I'm not, you know, no expert, but that didn't seem like it worked the full assault. Oh. Okay, and now we're going to go... Okay, demo man. Special. Demo telescope. Blue fuse. Go. We're gonna try and do what we can from down here. You get up there. Actually, up there might not be such a bad place. Stop grenading me! Okay, just lost one guy. Oh shit, there's sh Get out of here! Everyone get out! Back off! Come over here. Repair my suit. Is that damn telescope blown up yet? Thought you set you set charges. Oh, I'm targeting the wrong person. Was Blue Foods the longest? Thought you set those charges. Thought you said it was clear. Alright, he's down. I'm almost dead. Are you gonna set those charges or what? My squad is just a bunch of liars. Right, I think that's everybody. Now we're going to try this de again, Demo Man. Oh my god! Never mind. Where do these keep people keep coming from? Oh my god. Alright. Alright, we're good? Are we good? <laughs> Is that f***ing everybody finally? Alright, so. Dude. Special. Demo the tele- Why do you keep saying negative? I wish it would just tell me if there's no way to destroy it now. It says locked, like as if we're supposed to go inside?
Now I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. My gut is telling me that either he didn't place the charges or he did and they didn't go off or they got destroyed or something. Um, or I didn't ask him to place enough. Stat. Following app IO. Weapons. Particle beam, grenade launcher, thermal disruptor. Stat damage. See if that does it. I'm just gonna force that dude to just set the charges. Did you set the charges yet? What's going on? I guess it's gonna take him some time. I think his AI is bugged. Sir, to blue fuse. His AI is bugged. He doesn't know what to do. Look at him. He's just j jumping around like an idiot. What are you doing? It doesn't, it hasn't, there's no mission failure yet. Destroy telescope and all guards. Destroy tele, like, what? this Roger. okay so now he's following and we're gonna zoom in here how about this let me try this I'm going to try it again give him new orders special uh, demo toes why oh my god special Place charge. Sir, sending charges to blue fuse. Now, are you actually going to do it or are you just going to jump around like an idiot? Looks like he's doing it. Okay, we might, we might be, we might have, we, we might have this. Just give him a second. Charges are set. Bug are clearing the safe zone. Okay. Are they gonna go off at any point? <clears throat> Maybe we need to go farther to clear the safe zone. Is that the issue? That should be it. Stop, don't turn away from me, where are you? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, we did it right the first time too. Same thing. Okay. I was like, I can't imagine it would be bugged this bad. Okay. All right. Well, everyone died. Uh, their sacrifices were not in vain. Okay, let's get out of here. 
I should have put everyone in heavy suits. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't even know if I'm in a heavy suit. I think I am, though. I'm curious what my stats are. Well, first of all, let's call our dropship, get him in here. 50%. Man, I'm doing okay for 50%. Okay. Roger out. Nice. What a cool game. Everybody's hurt except Ng. When the Hogs hit a port Porthos lens factory three weeks ago, we had no idea what for. Looks like their little raid is all in vain now, eh? Their defenses must have been pretty strong, or it must have been strong given the difficulty of the assault. But you got the job done. That should teach them to spy on us. Did I get a medal? No. I'm gonna save over face. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Overwrite, yes, please. Okay, done. Um. I want more medals. I deserve more medals. Oh. Brant App IO. Received SSC Headquarters Terminal 004. So confirmed security. Alright. Looks like the hogs are about to throw a major offensive against uh, Carpaccio Station. Know what that means, little brother? It means they'll be able to refit transports as warships. It means we're dust. Just thought you should know in case you need anything to motivate you. B. All right, email, news. Oh, no new news. That's 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 a switch. All right, let's go. Check out my kill record. 148. So I got 10 more kills. I guess I thought I did a lot better than that. Still the best in the unit, but uh, Gomez uh, Graciela. I still haven't taken her out in too many missions. I need to take her out if she's that good. She's kicking ass. Uh, okay. So. All right, Nick. This one's a solo mission for you. The Hogs are running a convoy of trucks carrying ammunition and PVA parts to a base near Langmuir. We've been suspecting Klansman Will Moore and his associates of aiding the hegemony in exchange for amnesty. Well, if we could prove it, we could cut off the Hog supply line. I want you to get a positive ID lock on any of the trucks in the convoy. If we can prove the trucks have come from Will Moore, we'll have him nailed. They'll be moving down this road here. You'll want to get the lock first, and if it's positive, feel free to take out as many of the trucks as you can. But watch out, the escorts won't be happy about it. That's about all. Good luck. Dismissed. Try to keep this quiet until you confirm the ID on those trucks. If escorts know you're there, you may be too busy fighting to get the information we need. I guess standard suit? We may go with the recon suit if... If, uh... If it, uh, if it seems too hard with the standard, but I guess we'll give it a shot and see what they want. Hegemony 
sound like a lunatic. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm digging this music. <laughs> Holy crap. I have no idea what's going on. Oh my god. Where's my team? Am I supposed to be... Heading to the evac point? I think I am. I'm not supposed to still be here. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta say, the, the acting, as hammy as it is, is like, uh... I have no idea where the pickup point is. There we go, there's the pickup point. Oh, those, those infernal bushes! I don't think that's the dropship. Ah! My armor specs just went black. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Vamanos. 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 Okay. <laughs> we did it. Schuler's dead. Just with Schuler's loss saddens us all, but there was nothing you could do about it. Let's keep looking. I think that's probably part of the story. Unless it's not, which is, it's kind of cool that it's not prescribed, but uh, I didn't intend for that. Sonny McAllister. Hey, hey, just filling you in on our latest delay. It's going to be another few damn weeks before we can put our mitts on the shipment of Stockton Ale. 
With those blasted hogs blockading every ship port around, there isn't a damn chance of us getting a crate. Man, I tell you that Pentheus sure knows what he's doing. Hold on, guys. <coughs> oh, all right. Sorry about that. Before he was 17, he had put down revolutions on two different continents. He sure knows how to wage war. Watch out for that one, because he never runs out of those damn tricks. We'll see you around, Sonny. I think Sonny's an intel agent. Arlen McPherson. Nicola, thank goodness you made it back from that hog prison alive. The atmosphere around the base has been extremely tense since your capture. Everyone's very aware that there's a traitor in our midst, and that someone was only too happy to see your dropship sabotaged, sabotaged uh, so that Pentheus could get his hands on you. Schuler's death during that rescue hasn't made things easier. If, you cap if your capture wasn't bad enough, we're now getting reports that the Hegemony has built a materials harvester on Sara, so they can expect extract more materials to build more clones. I think it goes without saying that's the last thing we need. I hope you're ready to head back into the field soon. We've got to stop the Hogs war effort and we've got to root out the mole in the SFC. SF SFC readying defense of Carpaccio Station. Expecting a heavy assault upon Carpaccio Station, SFC officials have been cooperating with squads from the 12 Clan Strike Force to arrange for a heavy defense of the for a heavy defense of the base. Carpaccio Station remains Centauri's main shipyard, and its capture would mean both a crippling blow to Centauri transportation, as well as an opportunity for the Hegemony to perform repairs and modifications upon their own ships. Carpaccio Station is perhaps the most vital military installation. Uh, commented Strike Force Alvia of of Strike Force Avila soldier Miguel Alvarez. We can't just let it fall. Mysterious Hegemony troops, semi human clones. SFC has learned that the augmented soldiers employed by the Hegemony are actually clone warriors with cybernetic implants. Intelligence reports reveal that when Creon Pentheus arrived two Earth years ago, he brought with him most of the materials for a specially designed cybernetic growth fat and a cybernetic surgery facility. No more than two months ago, a second unannounced hegemony transport arrived with the remaining supplies. And the cloning facility was made operational. The hegemony has been able to use this equipment to considerably increase its numbers of troops in the Centauri system by creating the new semi-human soldiers in a quick growth process, then fitting them with implants and sending them out into the field. It's almost certain, the SFC report said, that the stock the clones are produced from consists of artificially enhanced tissue giving the warriors heightened reflexes and endurance. SFC also suspects the warriors have had traits such as compassion and fear bred out of their stock. SFC Commander Arlen McPherson stated that though these half-human abominations might be faster than our troops, we've got the superior PBA technology and the determination. Alright, sweet. I'm guessing this was supposed to happen. Want everyone here, Ashland. This is a time for unit again. Fine. Then it can be without me. He's the reason Skylar's dead. He got caught. The hegemony's the reason Skylar's dead. Everybody's looking for a traitor, but it seems pretty obvious to me who it is. Anybody have anything else to say? I think that one lady's been in actual stuff after this. Is that how you pronounce it? I thought it was Schuler. Schuler. 148 kill. Oh, yeah, I didn't get any more kills because I just ran like a. I just ran away. Peter DeWitt! 
Who the hell is- Oh, he just joined the team. <laughs> it's just like, who the fuck is this dude? I wonder if this DeWitt has anything to do with uh, Booker DeWitt for uh, Bioshock Infinite. Because I don't know if Ken Levine was- Yes, he might have still been working for Looking Glass at this time. I think he might have. Hmm. Anyways, this Angel, I don't think I've had her on my team yet, but she seems to be kicking ass. Look at that, 88, 41%. She's almost as good as me. Well, how the hell am I supposed to do that? Okay. Standard suit. Weapon specs. Uh, okay, outfit complete. Stealth is not something I associate with this game so far, so we'll do our best here. Okay, so... Let's try going... That looks like higher ground. So we're gonna try scoping it out from there. Oh, this is just gorgeous music. I want this played at my wedding. I mean, I've already had my wedding, but... I want this played at some special event. See if we can see anything from here. Alright, so we're gonna. We're gonna try and snipe from this far away if possible. Where can I snipe from? Well, let's see. Let's see how close I can get. Damaged. Railgun 
Oh my god. I'm so screwed. Oh my god. Alright, let's, uh, hold on. Ah! Let's try this again. That might have been a good approach point, but those damn things, they tore me to shreds. Alright. Also, we have to take out those damn, uh... Okay, so we approached from... Right here. So we're gonna do that again. Because I, I don't think we alerted any sentries doing that. Who did I alert? Q, man. I don't care. I just want this mission done. Stealth and this game are not two things that, like I said, I would associate in the same sentence. Hold on. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure we're playing at the maximum resolution. It looked a little... snipe them from here. Let's try just a little bit closer. There we go. This looks like a good spot. Oh my god, these controls. Where are you, man? I'll get you! I'll get you! Yeah, come on. Oh my god, screw this thing. Oh my god! This is awful! I'm never gonna survive this. Please recharge. Just recharge. Everything recharge. And this stupid thing, go to hell! Oh my god, like, 
With these controls, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, this is just frustrating as hell. I'm not even gonna bother with that stupid thing anymore. Getting the hell out of Dodge now, that's all I care about. That stupid thing needs to stay away from me. <laughs> Please, leave me alone. I've done nothing, well, that's not true. But still, you're obnoxious as hell. Call my stupid dropship in. See, this is what I, like, bouncing off of absolutely every little, like, bush and awkward angled surface and things like that, driving me nuts. I mean, this whole game's not perfect. This is definitely one of those missions that just sucks. Every game's gonna have these. But honestly, flying enemies that swoop around that even when you have your target on them, some for some reason you can't hit them, why would they put that in a game like this where the controls are so difficult? If you don't have mouse look, that's just absolutely ridiculous. But hopefully we're almost out of here. I mean, I just don't know if he's going to take off if that thing starts firing on the ship. I don't know. There we go. We're out. I don't care if I didn't do your stupid objectives. Good work, Nish. Nick. I wish you hadn't gotten caught, soldier. The element of surprise could have saved you a little trouble. Nevertheless, they'll have a harder time refitting their power systems without that station. That should leave them muttering under their breath for a week. <clears throat> Just gonna make sure I save, because I don't want to do that again. Cassandra Milonis. Okay. News. Oh, I'll read the email first. Terminus SFC headquarters, blah 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 blah, 0004 confirmed. Nick, you notice anything wrong with the commander lately? I just saw him leaving the briefing room, and he looked like he hasn't slept in days. This war's been hard on all of us, but he must really be getting pressure from the council. Cass. In an unfortunate defeat for Centauri, McDonald Station fell to hegemony forces yesterday. Station Commander Deidre uh, McLaughlin, McLaughlin or McLaughlin, McLaughlin of Strike Force Slade, who barely escaped the assault, said thinly stretched resources led to the defeat of the Caledonian base. We had teams out fighting raids from Saratov to New Amsterdam, said McLaughlin. We didn't leave enough soldiers at home. We, we were wide open, vulnerable. They hit us just at the right time. McLaughlin said she hoped to recapture the station soon before its captors can be re-established defensive systems. We're gonna exit. Intelligence has just located a hegemony supply depot on Thatcher. The Hogs have kept it from our notice by maintaining minimal heat and activity readings. This means there is minimal security and personnel. <clears throat> Nicola, 
I want you to take Gags, Ashford, and Cass and have a look-see. The base is located here, inside this ring of hills. You'll be dropped off here. You can move in over the hills without any problem. Earlier recon revealed only these two passes to be guarded. Stay clear of them. Your objective is to get a positive ID lock on every box, barrel, crate, and carton you can find. If you want to flash them afterward, fine, be my guest. But get the ID locks first. Good luck, soldiers. If you want to flash them, that's this world's term for destroying. New technology, missile launcher. These small chemical fueled rockets are tipped with high density Petrovsk explosives. The rockets fire extremely long ranges, delivering their payload with deadly accuracy. The explosive cause. Explosives cause heavy damage over large blast areas. Though a powerful weapon, the missile launcher takes two slots, and the reload time is the longest of the projectile weapons. Try to do this quietly. Nick, those guards in the passes aren't far from the base, and you don't want to alert them to your presence, Mac. Alright, we'll give it a st shot. Alright, let's see what they want us to do. Uh, ex obtain ID lock on crates at base. Okay, so we're gonna go to the depot. Just once again with this music, oh my god. took care of it so I don't have to thank God What is a retreat? Alt R. Oh my god, look at those fucking mechs. Let's get out of here. Calling in the dropship. My entire squad's wiped out, and I'm about to die. Oh my god, okay. Alright, let's replay the mission. I'm gonna take a heavy suit as well. 
And uh, I'm gonna use, oh yeah, universal backup for sure. So I'm going to tell everyone to get hard, because we know it's coming now. We know there's an ambush coming, so we better get... See if we can get everybody out of here. I don't know. I mean, I, definitely the heavy suit is helping a little bit more right now, so we're gonna see what happens here. Oh my God, I just need a like proper way to look around. Well, then get over here, guys. Are you guys here yet? Let's go. Roger. Yeah, we did it. All right. <laughs> See, the heavy suit helped. Okay, what's next on the list of stuff to do? Okay, okay, okay. Sands of Sarah Nicola, you're one tough bastard. Quite some tenacity getting out of that hell getting out of that hell of an ambush. I guess you taught those heg heg commanders Is it heg or hog? Like they keep calling them different things. To give us a little more respect. Now listen, I don't want to shock you, but military intelligence has confirmed that there is a hegemony informant, and it's a matter a member of SFC. I don't like the idea any more than you do, but there is but there it is. The fact that the hegemony wants you dead has one good consequence. It puts you in the clear. Nicola, I don't know who the th their mole is, but we better find out soon. Okay. Cassandra Malonis. Have you gotten a look at those new clones? The hogs have started fielding this new type of monster that's even tougher than the first. We gotta figure out where these things are coming from and stomp them. Stomp on him, Cass. Okay, and uh, no new medals or anything to speak of, really. I'm gonna keep saving over phase two. Alright, let's see what we got now. 
As some of you know, Clansman Petrosk has fled his besieged steading and attempted to transfer here to SFC headquarters. It seems the good Clansman felt he would be more useful here in Central, or at least safer as I see it. The Gemini forces knocked down his carrier late last night, and needless to say, it's up to us to save the Clansman's hide. At present, Petrosk is playing possum somewhere near here. Nicola, I want you and a squad of scouts to find him. To make it more exciting, the Gemini troops are already out there looking as well. Use your drones, your nav maps. Use a divining rod if you have to, but find that craft before the hedgehogs do. Hedge troops will assault the craft before they line sights on your suits. Once you've found the craft, plant yourself between the hogs and the craft and hold off the assault. Once the area is clear, call for the drop ship. It'll meet you at the site of Petros's ship. Head him up and move him out. Okay, real quick, guys. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, we are... Hold on a sec. Let's see, That should be... Excuse me, full screen now. Um... Okay, heavy suit. I think it's gonna be. This is gonna be pretty bad. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be pretty bad. I don't know why I need recon. Well, because uh, I needed to find the dude. I just need one recon. I don't need two recons. So I'm gonna swap out with uh, weapons guy. Gomez. I think that's. She's the one who's kicking ass. Yeah, Gomez is kicking ass. So heavy suit, laser, particle beam, grenade launcher, no EM dampener. We're gonna give her a mine layer. Yeah, missile launcher, particle and rail gun. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if, how this goes. Could be a total shit show, but we're just gonna see how it goes. Okay, I'm just gonna check recording. Yeah, we are recording. Where we are good to go. Ooh, that, I didn't want that. What the ho hold on. We're gonna be aggressive. I do need the one recon, maybe she can find the ship before anyone else does. We're gonna do this and we're gonna have the ASF and we're gonna start dropping as soon as we find the guy We're gonna start dropping mines everywhere and hopefully that will help This thing right here looks like it might be something so we're gonna go towards that I'm gonna wait for my team I do not want to get in a firefight with the shit little guys without my team here. Hey, you guys are supposed to follow. Get over here. What are you doing? Maybe they found him. Alright, recon lady, I need you to I need you to work your magic so we can find this guy. Turn this down just a bit so I can hear myself. Sorry, the sound in this game is super loud. Yeah, for some reason I just feel like he's near the lake. I mean there's something in the lake, right? No, that's just bad sprite placement. Ah shh. You guys take them out. I'm terrible at fighting those damn drones. Alright, well, let's keep searching let's for them. There it is! There's the ship! Okay, we're gonna drop mine. mine, deployed. mine deployed. Gonna just drop a hell of a lot of mines around this thing. Deployed. 
Okay, we have a whole minefield done now. Gonna go to weapons here. All right, hold on. So, what are the objectives? Okay, protect a ship and cripple it. All right, let's do that. So, I want them on me again. Where's my quick... Uh, Information. Oh, I've been pressing the wrong thing the whole time. Well, it's been working, so we're in formation. So, you know what I think we're going to do? I'm going to take the recon girl. Oh, no, I'm not. Nice. My recon lady say this. Yeah, I got you with the mines. Oh, I put the mines way too close. Yeah, okay, I put the mines way too close. Uh, let's replay the mission. Try it again. <laughs> they all blew up and they took out the ship. Alright, well, you know, I tried my best. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna do OM instead of whatever. Maybe I can actually run if I- yeah, I think I can actually run now if I press that because then it's not gonna be... I'm gonna get my mine layer out, and I'm gonna set up a different kind of perimeter, because that last perimeter was garbage. I don't think they randomize where the thing is every time, probably. What the hell do I know? Okay, so I'm gonna drop a mine here. Mine deployed. Mine deployed. Mine deployed. Mine deployed. Mine deployed. Mine deployed. The hell? What a jerk. Now wait a minute. Okay. The hell is going on? Are those stupid drones still? Oh my god, if I lose because of those stupid drones. Alright, so, I think we're set up to deal with this. I need some recharge here. I hate when missions like this take uh, just a little too long, you know, for the enemies to show up. I mean, at least it gives me time to set up a perimeter, but still, it's kind of obnoxious.
At least my shields are back up. The minute I turn away. Oh my god, is my... Oh, my weapon system is out. Damn it. Serious? I've got my missile launcher at least. Okay. Uh, I don't know why the missiles were blowing up as they're leaving my launcher, but those. Ugh, it was such a good setup. Look, those mines were taking out everybody. <sighs> so much jank. Alright, so. You follow me. Please take out the fucking drones. Please, for the love of Christ, take out the drones. Because I can't. I'm just terrible at shooting those damn things. Because. This is the speed at which I can move my head up and down. So let's give it a shot. Do I still have to wait for your sorry asses? What the hell is going on? What are you doing? Vamanos! I feel like the predator. Can't believe that one fucking drone just ruined my day. Cause that plan was going pretty well actually. I was pretty happy with it. Okay, I'm gonna start dropping mines about right here. Are you serious? Mind deployed. Mind deployed. Fucking drones, dude. Mind deployed. I think what happens is the drone blows up the mine that's behind me. And then the mine does so much damage. Okay, I hope that's enough. Particle beam still operational. My shields should recharge by the time uh, everybody gets here. So, I'm gonna say go ahead and move on me. Alright, I want everyone in formation. And uh, hopefully we can, can do this. There's a big gap right there for the mines, which is, I think, where the first attack comes from. Yeah, it looks clean now. Just wait, man. Nice. Now they just gotta come from over there. I think we're far enough away from the mines, although those mines are really screwing up my day, guys.
Hmm. I wonder where they could be. Where the hell is my squad? Roger that squad leader. Where are, are you serious? Where the hell did they go? Formation. Enemies on scope, sight, and kill. FXD. Check his red. Armor level so low. Are you serious? What the hell happened? Oh my god, I hate protection missions. I don't know if I'm going to lay down the mines. They seem to do more harm than good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put the mines out. So, I may have to re-outfit. This mission is kind of a bitch. I mean, the mines did their job, but I think it's just that the explosive uh, yield on them is so insane that they're damaging me, they're damaging my squad mates, and they're damaging the ship. Um, even when I put them kind of way out there, it's ridiculous. I mean, do I have to really have to go, like, all the way out there? Um, which is a little crazy. Just in case those drones are that powerful, I'm keeping my distance. Terrible at fighting these stupid things. Okay. All right. See, much better without the stupid mines. My shields can recharge. Alright, hold up. Guys, form back up. Alright. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it was the mines going off that was wreaking all the havoc. I mean, seriously, we were getting, like, demolished here. I'm guessing they're going to come from up here next. Hmm. 
Nice! See, it was the stupid mines. Oh my god, okay. Wait a minute. There's no... Oh, I guess he's coming right here. Oh, to pick us all up, okay. Nice. Yeah, I thought, wait, you had those mines, the explosive yield is insane. It was just like, even when I put them really far out, they were like killing me, my teammates. Oh, he's landing right on me. Fantastic. Nice, we got out of here. Very nicely done. Everybody's okay. Uh, total kills 20. To have both rescued him and decimated the enemy squadron was squadrons was no small feat. Klansman Petro Petrovsk is already gushing his thanks and praise. Saving such an important figure will look very good on your record. I'm going to save over phase 3 right now. Yes. Although, I feel like I deserve a medal for that one, and I didn't get one, so... I'm a little upset. Margaret McCullough. Everything's confirmed. Security seems good on that one. Hey, Nick, intelligence reports that the hogs are pulling major operations on the moon. And not just that telescope thing, either. They're building something big. They looted Clan Stockton's factories three days ago. I hope the commander's on top of things. Maggie. Okay, news. Satellite helping blockade of Thatcher. Centauri Council has released reports that all Centauri-owned satellites over Thatcher have been destroyed as, an initial, as the initial phase of a planetary-wide blockade. Five days ago, the Hegemony launched a killer satellite, which has systematically destroyed all other satellites that orbited the planet. Utilizing small launch tube rockets, the Hegemony killer has tracked down and eliminated its defenseless Centauri and prey. Last night, the killer finalized its task with the destruction of a weather monitor. The satellite is doubly effective in establishing a Hegemony blockade. The destruction of Thatcher's orbiting control satellites has made it difficult for Centauri craft to land, and the Hegemony has been using the satellite to coordinate strikes against incoming shipments. Citizens reported seeing the largest meteor shower in the planet's inhabitation as the last Centauri satellite was obliterated. The destroyed satellite shattered into large pieces that angled through the atmosphere, giving off a fiery luminescence. Pieces fell in the hundreds, unknowing citizens deemed the falling debris the most beautiful sight they had ever seen. Little did they know. At present, no word has been released to the press on the condition of the planet's future. Thatcher has long been dependent on off-world imports for its prosperity and survival. When Centauri and orbital reconnaissance eliminate, with Centauri orbital reconnaissance eliminated, hegemony strikes on incoming shipments are bringing Thatcher's industry to a standstill. Unnamed sources admitted if the satellite isn't downed, there ain't nothing coming through. No supplies, no transports, no nothing. Council members had no comment at this time. Thatcher does hold supplies which are sufficient for at least 10 to 12 days of survival, but has no means of producing and, or obtaining more. Citizens have asked the council to declare a state of emergency for Thatcher, as well as mobilize forces to eliminate the satellite itself. Oh, Jesus. I wonder if we're going to be tasked with taking it out. You looking for me? I was, an hour ago. The doc thinks someone's been poisoning the command. Mac? Can't be sure, but whatever's happening to him is irreversible. You think it's me? I'm the traitor. You don't leave me any options. We gotta knock out the harvester before the heads can dig up our antidote for their skin prints, and I can't even ask your advice because I don't trust you. Rand, I'm taking you off active duty. What gives you the right? <laughs> My rank gives me the right. Big brother, you're done. Son of a bitch. The Yurt Khan. That's what I've been doing. The life memory ritual? Why would you be performing clan tradition? Mom and Dad. Friends have been dead so long. When they died, you did something about it. 
I did nothing. I just watched. I've been making up for that with the Yurikai. Man, you should have told me. You shouldn't have to ask. <coughs> Excuse the Rona. Shit, the commander's dead. We're so fucked. That door panel looked like Nevada. I don't know if anyone caught that. <laughs> All right, 162, 25 assists, 45% accuracy. I'm still the baddest motherfucker in this squad, but not by much. I mean, they're catching up. They're catching up. They're getting good. Yeah, I like Gomez. She's good. Again, like Rainbow Six, sometimes, like, you have crew members that are actually pretty good like you want you want them to have your back especially in a firefight like uh, ding chavez in the original rainbow six you definitely want him on your team if if it's going to get pretty hairy um let's check this out next mission attention all sfc personnel from centauri council effective immediately sarah walker has been appointed acting commander of the sfc until such time as a permanent commander is found acting commander walker will assume the responsibilities of the late commander mcpherson Directive CC 124-437A, Centauri Council. Oh, God. Nicola, we've got a special mission for you. The Egemini have modified one of their ships into this, a mobile mining factory. They're using it to pull valuable materials out of Sarah's crust. Materials <coughs> used to build their weapon systems for the clones. Your mission will be to obliterate it. Our researchers have developed a special Dentonium Explosives module. We're leaving it in your hands, rather than with the demolitions expert, because he's a traitor in our midst. It would be too easy for him or her to sabotage the device and blame it on its experimental nature. Don't worry, you won't need any special skills to use it. We're placing it in your ASF slot. Jump up onto the factory, drop the ASF, and get the hell out of there. This device has a blast radius you wouldn't believe. Dropping you off south of the factory. Dash north, plant the charge, and head for the drop quickly. The factory will be guarded, so keep your eyes open. Good luck. Dismiss. Okie dokie. Dentonium module. This module uses the experimental Petrovsk explosive dentonium its blast potential is enormous 40 to 60 times stronger than standard issue demolition packs r d science rec scientists recommend immediate withdrawal from the area after the module is set research on dentonium is nowhere near complete and the sfc is only using it in this mission because of extreme circumstances let's try auto docs make sure everyone stays alive so i have some backup missile launcher i guess i want the missile launcher i don't know well, hold on, let me replenish my beverage supply. Give me a second, guys. my uber professional self here are we're gonna start this mission <clears throat> let's find out where this damn factory is it's got a bit of a Star Warsy vibe to it too you know that I kind of like like I said, it's like Battletech meets Mech Warrior meets uh, uh, 
Wing Commander meets uh, X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Is that the factory? Yeah, I guess so. Is the gravity heavier here? I'm moving like a, I'm in a tank and I don't think I have a heavy module. Bogey Bogey down. Scratch one. Scratch one. What in the fuck is going on? Oh my god, what is, the physics are just driving me insane right now, guys. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's gonna blow up. Let's get the hell out of here. Well, let's try and take out the guards too. Are there other guards? Get that secondary mission objective. That was fairly easy. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I don't know if the gravity on this planet is uh, higher than normal because it just I feel like I'm stuck in quicksand. Unless I'm wearing a heavy, I don't remember being equipped with it. Then I, I thought it was a standard. Well, I guess we're not going to get the secondary objective because... Uh, Unless we find some guards on the way back. So anyways, I'm going to have everyone form up on me. Why is everything uh, green now instead of purple? Is it because uh, What's-Her-Face took command? It's kind of strange. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. I and I thought they were going to make me have to land on the very top of it. And I was like, there's no way in hell that's happening. Plus, if this thing is so... Uh, powerful is as powerful as they say. I shouldn't have to. I could just. So this is what I'm talking about. I think I might be in a heavy. System power plant. Here, yeah, I guess we'll just go back here. Oh shit. Nice! Oh, I didn't even call the dropship. I don't know. I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch. Successful mission. <clears throat> Everybody's okay. Nice, twenty three kills. I didn't get a medal for that, but why? Okay. 
Simon Ashford. Confirm security. Okay. Nicola, by now I'm sure you know about Sarah Walker's having been promoted over your head. I should hope that the council at least considered you for the position, as you're the ranking SFC officer and squad leader. I guess we shall never know if they did. It is typical, but inevitable, that the council should choose political considerations over skill and rank. Regrettably, that's the way things are done in a frontier society. Better luck next time, Simon Ashford. I'm gonna go, uh, ports? No, review. Personnel. Is Ashford on my, yeah. Which one is he? Oh! <laughs> Duh. I've taken him out a bunch of times. Roster. She's a badass fighter. I haven't even... Oh, no, I've taken Russ out before. Rossi... Haven't taken... I took Rossi out once. I haven't taken him out ever. He's new. I haven't taken him out ever, I don't think. She's pretty good. She's pretty good, too. Okay, let's see the kill board. 166. Nice. What's the next mission got for us? Nicola, you'll be going solo on this one. It seems Clansman Archer plans to negotiate his own little peace with the Hegemony. Problem is, he doesn't speak for anyone but himself. Even now, a hegemony courier is heading to meet with Archer. You'll be intercepting and capturing the courier <coughs> before you can reach the rendezvous point. According to our report, the hedge courier's route to Archer's steady will take him through these ravines. You'll be dropped off here, then make your way to this spot, where you'll stage the ambush. You'll have to deal with any guards first, and then force the surrender of the truck containing the courier. Don't harm the truck unless you have to. We prefer to take the courier alive. Make any combat brief and decisive. If you get into trouble, make use of the geography and avoid fighting toe to toe. Get to it. Combination plast plastite and energy defense system. The personal shield works above and beyond standard PVA armor to protect the suit from damage, absorbing a percentage of the damage inflicted. Users should note that the shield uses its own limited power supply and will give out in time, so it should be used only as necessary. Oh, I'm going out alone? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna go up the sides. Particle beam. This is a dangerous place. Oh, ah. No, I don't want to be here. out of here. Do not want to be stuck in these canyons.
I'm gonna try and go up and around on the canyons. Ah! Well, that oh, that was my guy. He just spawned out here. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go up this way. It's weird that I was sent out by myself. I mean, I haven't been sent out by myself for very many missions, so that was a little s suspect. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a running start. I don't wanna go back in those canyons. Tell you guys the combat is not <laughs> always super easy. All right, I'm gonna put it inactive and wait for my systems to recharge here. Just give me a second, guys. Nine degrees C. That that's pretty cold, right? Yeah, that's cold. Keep my finger on this shield button. Yeah, I'm trying to stay on the ridges, guys. I don't want to go down in those canyons. I bet they're just crawling with dudes. Okay, hold on. Alright, we're out of here. Nice. If it wasn't obvious enough already, now we know we have a breach of security, and I'll do everything possible to eliminate it. The Hogs may have learned learned or of our planned interception, called off the meeting with Archer, and set up this ambush. It's also possible that the whole thing was a false situation from the start. Either way, all future missions are, subject, are suspect until we uh, trace the breach, so stay sharp about your unknown benefactor. About your unknown benefactor. I'm certainly grateful for his bombing run, and I'm sure you are too. But the but loose cannons make me nervous, and I'll keep you advised. One last thing, and I hope it's just coincidence. Just after you got back to base, Cass and Ashford, who were on perimeter patrol, caught Sunny sneaking back into camp. That bartender's always made me a little nervous. Sunny was the guy who did the bombing run. He's always got my back. Sunny's Sunny's totally cool. I'm I'm cool with Sunny. I'm I'm gonna name this one after him. Sunny. Yes. Overwrite the save. No medals, no nothing. Sarah Walker. This is all confirmed. Terminal Walker. Nicola, glad you kept a level head during that ambush and made it out alive. We need you at full power during the times ahead, and I'm glad the hogs weren't able to take you down. I'm pretty disturbed about the whole business, though. An ambush like that shouldn't have happened, especially since this isn't the first time. I fear someone's tipping off the hogs about our whereabouts, especially yours. I can't say much more than that. Commander Walker. 
Okay. Gonna try new. Oh my god, that's so much news. SFC Commander McPherson dies from unknown illness. SFC Commander Arlen McPherson died yesterday afternoon, apparently of heart failure related to a recent and sudden illness. His personal physician, Dr. Carlton Sabo, delivered a short statement minutes after being, after the passing of McPherson. We've been battling this for days, but I've never seen anything like it. It was a viral infection that attacked the heart, and the commander had a congenital heart condition that made him especially vulnerable. It didn't match any virus in the Centauri medical databanks. We'll be running more tests in the near future. There is now some debate among the Centauri Council as to who will be the next commander of Strike Force Centauri, as the war with the hegemony con continues. A private memorial service will be held tomorrow for the immediate family. Going to news. Clansman Archer sneaks cease, 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 ceasefire. A highly placed source within Strike Force Centauri disclosed intelligence reports revealing that Clansman Archer has apparently arranged a meeting with a hegemony negotiant to discuss a ceasefire agreement. Although Archer technically does not have the authority to make such an agreement, the source indicated that several factions seem ready to follow his lead to avoid further loss of life. There is no word as to the nature of the agreement under discussion, but the terms are presumed to be unfavorable. Petrovsk labs suffer setback. Three researchers were wounded today, one critically, when an unstable sample of nitroplast detonated during the testing at Strike Force Petrovsk R&D facility. The researchers were working on an ammunition prototype for what they call a magnetic ballistic delivery system. Research director Elena Kowalski would only remark that we obviously still have a ways to go on this project. Okay, news. Sarah Walker named as new SFC commander. Following the death, the death of SFC commander Arlen McPherson, the Centauri Council met yesterday and selected Sarah Walker to assume the role of acting commander. It is expected that she will be officially named to the post within the week. Sarah served with Strike Force Slade for nine years before being assigned to SFC. She is also the daughter of Councilwoman Belinda Walker. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, give me a second. Though the council was quick to assert that her appointment was based entirely on her abilities and potential, if she hadn't been assigned to the FCC, SFC, said Councilman Blanco, she would have been the next commander of Strike Force Slade inside of a year. She's a natural for the position. I think she might be the traitor, but I'm not sure. So we're going to go review. Sorry, I just forgot. I thought her mom took the position, and I was like, it's kind of weird. But Sarah took it, and she's no longer in my list. Yeah, so the, Sarah Walker took it. I think she might be... But she seemed to have so much empathy and remorse in her voice when she was talking with her mother. I don't know. I don't know. The plot continues to thicken. We will see. I actually think the story's not that bad. And I, as I said before, the, the acting is okay. The writing's pretty good. The story's not bad. I mean, it is a Looking Glass Studios game. I don't recall them making a ton of shit. No, Sunny's cool. Do it, Cass. Back off, Ashman. The right way to do this. Not the more painful. Did you really think they wouldn't see you out there? No, you got it wrong. I was there to help you. All this time, we thought one of us was the traitor. It was you. You're Creon's little friend. You're the hog informer. Don't ask questions, just keep pouring. Isn't that right? You know this isn't true. How could I know anything? Good question, Earthman. How did you know where our mission was? God, I was getting information from the hogs, not you. I heard they were going to ambush you. Do you think that clears you? You were in contact with the hogs. No, I... Listen to me. Listen to me. I used to be a pilot with the hegemony. They told you. The best, but it's over. I didn't believe in what they were trying to do. I don't believe... Enough. He's the guy who saved my ass with the bombing run. Oh, I forgot, he's got the Vulcan mind meld. Think. Did you see? Did you? I'm telling the truth! It's him! He killed Mac, poisoned him, shot him! Gas? He's innocent. Told you Sonny was my boy. He's always giving me tips about how to like 
kill people. I mean, me mechanistically within the game, they don't work out super well because the, the combat's a little frenetic. It's just like, just lay down as much fire as accurately as possible in the shortest amount of time. That's the best way to kill anything. 168. Look at this. Gomez uh, Graciela. Inhale. Or Angel. Or whatever. She's fucking 116. Man, she's badass. 61 assists. 41%. Yeah, she's... If she just went on more missions, she would surely surpass me. Kicking ass. Alright, let's do another mission. Let's see what else, what's up next. Systems communication station. Until recently, these were solely used for planetary communications. However, a Gemini sympathizer right here on New Hope has been building a replica which will allow for transmission interceptions as well as possible force coordination. This can be allowed. Nicola, you're in charge of making sure that the site never goes online. Recon shows no movement around the construction site, so they suspect their sentries are hidden. <coughs> However, fresh hogs are being shipped in, so we'll need to strike before they beef up their defenses. Nicola, we need you to take out the equipment they'll be using to build the station. We want you in and out fast, to make sure you don't have to tangle with those reinforcements. You'll have a ten minute window to get in and take out the site before the dropship snags you. If you're not there by the time she leaves, you'll be left behind to face the music. Be aware that we have found out about this site through cannot let this agent's security be compromised, so do not let any of the site's guards survive. If those soldiers start telling tales about our little surprise, all we'll have is an agent as good as dead. One last thing. There are additional hedge forces on patrol to the southwest. These are too big for a squad of your size, so don't try to take them on unless you've got a death wish. Dismissed. This ain't over. I do have a death wish. New technology, Ionic Fusion Rifle. The Ionic, Ionic Fusion Rifle is Clan Carpaccio's latest experiment with particle dynamics. Its damage output is considerably high, extremely high for a beam weapon. However, its range is less than most other beam weapons used by Strike Force Centauri. Well, I kind of want it. Yeah, that seems like a good... Hmm... I think I might actually want a personal shield. DeWitt, he sucks. I want Gomez. What is DeWitt's thing? Weapon, yeah, okay, so, no, I want Gomez. I may switch to heavy, but I'm gonna... Personal shield, yeah, alright. I like how the thrusters on that are, are are modeled after a jet engine, and I'm like, okay, what is what exactly are you intaking from space? Ah, uh, it's time to use my predator vision because I can't see shit otherwise. I mean, as as beautiful as this is for the graphics of the time, I need to be able to see. So, pick up point, target. So I want. Yeah, Gomez is like, her kill record is insane, so I'm bringing her instead. Take out these damn trucks. Yeah, I got new gear, man. You're screwed now! Oh my god, I can't see. Ah! Oh, 
Nice. Let me take this runner. Destroy the equipment at the thing. Okay, let's go destroy it, guys. Fast, 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 fast. We gotta go. Yeah, the ionic fusion thing, that they're not kidding about that range. It's terrible. Okay. Alright, we're out of here, guys. Let's move. Damn it. I'm taking this offline. Personal shield deactivated. Drone. Just for now. Oh my god, the bushes! <laughs> they are the bane of my existence in this Not damn game. Roger. Come on, pick us up, let's go. Glad I got those runners before they got out of here. Where's the damn dropship? Move it, bro. Get over here. Let's get out of here. There he is. Roger. Nice! Very nicely done. It's because I brought Gomez. She murked everyone. Everyone and everything. I caught those runners. That was a stroke of luck. I didn't think... I just happened to see them fleeing and I was like, alright, better, better chase them down. A commendable, a commendable job, Nicola, shutting down the site and keeping the guards from spreading word of the attack. Let's just say I wouldn't trust just anyone with that kind of job. All right, can I get a medal again? There we go. Venetia Star, you continue to watch over your squad and keep an eye out for their safety. Accordingly, you are being awarded an additional Venetia Star. Keep up the good work your squad would want you to. Look at this. Yes. Oh, why is there only just one? Come on, man. I guess phase five will save over phase five. Done. Uh, okay. Forget what this guy's, uh, personnel. Gags, yeah, that's his, that's his, that's his thing. Uh, go back to main menu, email. News. Nick, the hogs blockaded Thatcher. Thatcher is my home. My clan and family are running low on things. I hope we can stop this, Gags. Yeah, I hope so too, man. Thatcher blockaded. The clans of Thatcher are beginning to run low on many supplies as the hegemony further establishes a blockade of the planet. Hegemony troops and craft have been making coordinated attacks on shipments moving into Thatcher through the help 
of an orbital tracking satellite. Centauri information shows that the Hegemony is able to use the satellite data, which includes strike force troop movements, shipping lanes, and transport routes to isolate Thatcher's economy. Strike forces Stockton and Carpaccio already report critical levels of ammunition and BPA parts. Okay, let me just... I'm paranoid. Still recording. Alright, so... Let's see what Gomez is up to. Man, she's just... Look at that! Killing it, man! I think she got like 10 kills on the last mission. 10 or 13. Look at all those assists. She's just badass. That's also cool that they're able to like give like enough variable AI that there's like clear like valuable squad mates that float to the top i'm glad i didn't bring dewitt i'm pretty sure hold on let's see where dewitt's at yeah dewitt at the bottom 14 i mean he just joined the squad i know he's only been on six drops but look you know i also like malonis she's pretty good okay well i think it's time for Well, shit. Let's see how good the, or uh, how di God, I can't see a fucking thing in this bastard. Do I have my fingers on the wrong keys? Yeah. Okay, so I can stealth around these guys because they don't know I'm me. I guess I just go here? Or no, this is the wrong one. I need to go... Oh, I guess we'll try it here, I don't know. I mean, the good thing about this game is that the missions aren't super long. If you need, to, if you need some room to screw up, you can do that. So let's try that. I have no idea what this is. Central that you uncover that traitor, Nick. Finish the job and then call me. Oh, here we go.
I think on paper this is a good man. I mean, unless unless they're alerted to my presence as soon as this goes off. I'm just gonna call the drop shipping. Oh, that's the drop ship button. Okay. That's what I put. So I'm just gonna sit here for a minute. I had a feeling it was him. Oh shit! All right, let's go, let's go. Oh my god! Holy crap! You better be there, dude. You just get over there so I can get the hell out of here, man. And these trees, I know I'm gonna bounce through them. It's like a bouncy castle full of uh, foliage, but just get me out of here, bro. All right, sweet, we did it. That wasn't so bad. I'm sure for experienced players who've played this before, they're like, dude, why are you freaking out so much? This game's not that hard. And it's not that hard once you know what you have to do, but I have no idea how hard it's gonna be. Analysis of the data confirms what you found out in the field. We've caught the bastard. Hurry and get out of your combat gear. We've got a date with Ashford Fronto. I had a feeling it was in it, especially since his father was trying to turn over to the uh, hegemony. But maybe there's going to be another twist. Maybe this is a red herring. I don't know. We'll save over five again. Yes. Hegemony builds lunar cannon. SFC intelligence was able to prove what they had previ what had previously only been rumored that the hegemony has built a cannon on the surface of Karos. Uh, released information states that the cannon is energy based and may very well be able to hit targets on New Hope and even Thatcher. The weapon's accuracy is not yet known, and SFC officials said they hope the distance involved will make focusing the weapon very difficult. They added that SFC troops would be attempting to disable the weapon immediately. I hope so. That's probably the next mission, I would imagine. Get your filthy hands off me! Don't touch me! We'll do a lot more than just touch him. Take him to detention. Gross. Get him out of my sight. Ashford. Why? You know what the hegemony has done to me. To Nikola Cass, all of us. How could you? Pain you. I would have done it for free. Oh, it is him, okay. Hegemony is about purity. You're about distortion, all of you. Humanity isn't about lesser breeds. It's about unified power. I should think you'd agree with me. What? I saw you admiring that clone. You saw in it what the hegemony sees in it for us. The potential for purity. Don't ever compare yourself with me. Hold your breath. Let him go. You all disgust me. I leave you to the hegemony. Their purity. Oh, and their pulse cannon. Did the dude just kill himself? I guess he did. He had so much to live for. Uh, imprisonment for the rest of his life, a possible execution, so much to live for. Man, ain't she's just catching up, man. Graciela, man. Gomez, my girl. All right. Uh, yeah, hold on, guys. I'm going to grab another drink. Give me a second.
Okay. We're back. Let's do the mission briefing. Let's do the next mission. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end. I don't know if I should, like, stop soon and then just do the remainder tomorrow. Or if I could just push through and just let's finish it. We're getting pretty close, guys. As some of you may know, the Hogs have established a satellite blockade over Thatcher. And as we speak, the clans are starting to run short on many supplies. This may get complex, so listen up. The Hogs have just finished building a pulse cannon on Karos. We, of course, must destroy that cannon before they start using it on military targets, namely this very base. But for its dust, we have one last job for them. To flash their very own blockade satellite out of the Great Black. Nicola, you'll be leading the team to Karos. Intelligence reports the pulse cannon will be inside this outer wall. It is assumed the firing controls are in this small adjacent building. You'll need to get an electronic specialist to that building to fire the cannon and destroy the satellite. We're inserting you while the satellite is downloading its information to the Hogs control station, which will give you a two hour window. During those two hours, the satellite is a stationary target with its defenses down. Knock that sky eye back to Ursa Major. However, if you fail to get the satellite, it is imperative that you destroy the pulse cannon. So, take a demolitions expert with you, along with the electronic specialist. Success here is mandatory. According to Intel, the Hogs don't think we know about the cannon, but there will still be guards around. Also, remember that your jump jets are difficult to control in the moon's lower gravity. That's all. Good luck. Okie dokie. Finally, the auto turret is a self-contained sub- Yeah, dropped like a mine, at which point its circuitry enters a ready mode, automatically firing its beam weapon at any enemy targeting target entering its low sense of range. The turret is programmed to discriminate between enemy and friendly targets, however, it has only a limited amount of armor. I guess I'm bringing two demo men. He's injured. I don't remember injuring him. I don't remember Gomez getting injured either. Gomez! Alright, we're gonna try it like this. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not taking that stupid thing. Auto turret. Okay. Let's give it a try. So... I'm gonna send my electronics guy straight at the the thing, and uh, if he can get that done, then we'll mop up everyone else. And we've got two demo guys, so they should be able to take care of the rest. Okay, so we've got this control station. Uh, let's see, electronics special. Huh? All right, I guess we gotta get in range. So, yes, yo. Alright, so I'm just having everyone follow me. We're going to try and mop up all the forces together. I think it should be uh, possible. And I'm glad I brought a backup demo man because my brother is already getting his ass kicked. Special. So I'm sending the electronics expert in.
Well, shit. Okay, so I think I know something that we can do to, to fix this next time. Uh, let's just drop a couple of auto turrets to help us with this firefight. Um, because I don't think I can do this on my own right now. Okay. So we're going to replay the mission. And everyone died. I really screwed up. Let's try that again. <laughs> Maybe we can draw them out? And they'll just keep coming at us and if we get like smaller waves and we all have concentrated fire we can try that. I'll drop a couple of auto turrets. Let's try that. That might work. So hold on. Roger. Incoming. We've got fire. Two bogies in range. Confirm. Over. Auto Yeah, let's see if we can just draw them out. Yeah, we're just gonna keep trying the strategy. Maybe we can keep drawing them out. coming at us guys no more drones. that guy has the weirdest personality I don't get him come on just send some dudes after us please Let's stay on the perimeter like this so we have space to move and then what we're going to do is we're just going to keep uh, uh, firing at their stuff until they send people out and then I'll just drop auto turrets to help us out. I think everyone is looking pretty good.
Yeah, we're just gonna try and take this uh, very carefully. Gonna recharge a little bit here. Just gonna take no chances. But I'm hoping we need to draw more of them out. I mean, why aren't they coming out? We're, we're blowing up all their shit. Take those drones out, guys. Really, guys? Goddamn drones. Just take it out. Damn it, stop bombing me. It's the same issue I had with the last drone. Like, honestly, these enemies should not be in this game. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna get away from this damn thing. So I have a second, another plan that we're gonna try, uh, cause this doesn't seem to be working, especially with that goddamn drone. And guys, follow me! Finally. Also, I don't want. I didn't think of the auto turret earlier to take care of the. Drone. I guess I didn't want to waste one on a single drone. But if we can keep drawing them out like this, this is better. Much better than trying to face like the whole horde of them inside. Oh, are you? Suck it up. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to. I don't remember where my turret is. I'm just gonna have to drop another one. Damn it. I mean, I got eight of these damn things, so hopefully that's enough. Just need to thin out the herd.
took that turret out. Two turrets down. Guys, the reason I'm doing this, by the way, is I'm just trying to see if destroying their shit draws them out. So we're going to occupy these forces, they're going to keep coming at us, hopefully with... I'm going to drop one more turret. And hopefully with this, all this, uh, we should be able to hold them off and I can keep one of my demo guys alive. I gotta hope to Christ my shields recharge. I'm gonna drop one more turret. So I'm gonna see if he can take out the cannon right now and then we can get the hell out of here. But I've got one more demo man in reserve just in case. This is a good mission. This is pretty cool. So he's gonna go do that. Uh, I'm just gonna put that up. Once he comes back, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Actually, it seemed that my strategy worked. Um, my electrician's down, but I kind of expected that. Um, but at least he got the uh, thing online before that happened. We're not detecting any enemies, so I think that we faced them all here. Those auto turrets saved our life. And he's going to demo the control station. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, guys.
Hopefully there's no more enemies around and we can just get out of here safely. So I'm gonna give the the turrets and stuff a wide berth because I do not want to yeah, I don't want to do it. See, this actually came in handy. I'm just like, I need to look to the side, but I don't want to turn. Man. That strategy actually worked. I can't believe it. See, this is what I like. When you can, like, think through a tactic, you know, tactical approach for a game. And it all comes together, even though, you know, it's just a hodgepodge of systems. It just happens to work out. It's pretty cool. It's a very satisfying feeling. Um... I'm really uh, digging this game a lot. Yeah, like I said, it reminds me a lot of... That was very Rainbow Six-esque because there are a couple of missions in Rainbow Six where the AI is... The, the AI understands the stealth bit... Stealth mechanics in the game better than you ever will. So they... Like, if you... Like, there's a mission where you have to plant a bug on a phone and you can't be seen. It's hard to do yourself. Um... But if you plan the mission right and you have enough go codes for the AI, you can actually get the AI to do it. And it's it probably easier to get the AI to do it, um, which is crazy. All right, we are almost done here. Gotta wait till the rest of the squads. Well, guys, get over here. Come on. We've got, it's just one other dude. Oh, no, two other. I saved two guys. We're almost all here. Yes, we did it. Fantastic. That was a, that was a dope mission. I better get a medal for that one, except I lost a dude. But he was sacrifice. He was a sacrificial lamb. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Okay, come quickly. Beautiful job. Beautiful. As we speak, intelligence reports an unusual metallic shower raining down over parts of Thatcher, not to mention the fact that the pulse cannon is spread out over a good five kilos of ground. You're proving yourself to be the best we've got, and we're all damned proud. Very nice. Yes! You have been awarded the Thatcher Aegis. The Thatcher clans are in your debt for taking out the satellite and helping to loosen the blockade's grip. Thanks to you, they are starting to get much needed supplies through. On behalf of Thatcher's residents, Command is awarding you the Thatcher Aegis. Very nice. Let me ch check this out. Oh, cool. New information. Actually, you know what? We're going to exit. We're going to save. I'm going to I'm going to save it under uh 6 and I'm going to call it uh Thatcher. Centauri Council. Attention all SFC personnel. After the unfortunate passing of Commander McPherson, the SFC needs new leadership. It is the decision of the Council to appoint Sarah Walker to the position confirming the acting command duties she assumed following Command Ms. McPherson's death. Her role as Commander of the SFC is effective immediately. We expect you to give her the full respect to the position. Thank you for your time. Uh, I guess, yeah, so she was interim Commander before. I guess they just finalized it. Lunar Cannon destroyed by SFC. SFC officials were happy to announce the destruction of the Lunar Cannon, which the Hegemony had constructed on Keros. A strike team led by SFC squad leader Nikola Apio was able to penetrate Hegemony defense, defenses and level the pulse weapon. The destruction of the cannon frees Centauri from one major threat, said acting SFC commander Sarah Walker, but we've still got plenty more to deal with yet. Nice. Very cool. I bet there's a cutscene. Oh, there's no cutscene. All right. 192 look at that yeah it really boosted me over the edge uh for that one that was pretty dope um let me just check recording here real quick i'm gonna go ahead and actually right here i'm gonna stop so that we can preserve the footage that we have and i may continue from here i just wanted to make sure we preserved what we've captured so far so we're gonna 